Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Today I'll go ahead and show you guys a couple of different things that you're able to do on your iPhone and speed up your old or new iPhone. Let's jump in. First thing first, go to your settings. Go into general. Go into background app refresh. Here you should clearly know that. Background app refresh allows certain apps to download new content in the background when you're not using your iPhone. Some of these things may actually be needed. But if you turn on all of them, it may cause your iPhone work slowly. Just turn off which you won't be notified. Then, try clearing up storage space. Each iPhone has a solid state drive. If your operating system doesn't have enough room, your iPhone will not work fluently. Go to iPhone storage. You can check this out. Find out what is taking up all your storage space. Then you can delete whatever you don't need. At the same time, you should turn off apps location services. Settings. Go into privacy. Location services. App clips. Turn it off. This will save up much specific battery life and performance. The next thing you should do is to remove widgets. Widgets are those little mini apps that run on your iPhone with iOS 14. They don't take up a lot of battery life and performance. But if you have a ton of those, this will affect the speed of the CPU. So just deleting those widgets you probably won't use. Next up, close all apps. Swipe up from the bottom of iPhone and close every single app that you launched before. Lightening the processor's workload can prevent it from generating excess heat and draining the battery too quickly. And it's good for your iPhone. Next, let's talk about battery health. This is important. Cause a lot of performance is tied to the specific battery life. Battery health. Check your battery is good or not. If Apple remind that you should replace your battery, or your battery is running low, I suggest you should immediately replace your old battery. Then it'll save your iPhone. Also, don't forget to restart your iPhone. This is a great way to give your phone's processor a break. Right now I am using iPhone Se 3. Just hold down the power button. Drag power icon to the right. Let the iPhone cool down for a few minutes. At least 10 minutes. Then hold down the power button for a few seconds. And release it when you see the Apple logo on the screen. It will restart. Clear Safari history and website data. This is the part that most people often ignore. Most of people don't understand how tabs work. They can end up with 1000 open tabs in our iPhone. To fix this really easily, go to settings. Safari. Scroll down. And then tap clear history and website data. Clearing will remove your history, your cookies and other browsing data. It's kind of like a reset for the browser. But it's worth doing. If you've done all these tips, and your iPhone is still slow, maybe your iPhone system has a serious bug. It's time to repair. We introduce to you a reliable and efficient tool, Tenorshare Rayboot. Rayboot is an iOS system repair tool. It will not lead to data loss on your phone, which fix more than 150 plus iOS system issues. You can check the download link in the description and download it. Once finished installed, connect your iPhone to PC. Open Rayboot, click the green start button. Then choose standard repair. Here Rayboot will download the firmware that matches your iPhone. Just click it. The download process will not be long, depending on your network condition. Be patient. Then, click on the start standard repair. Rayboot will start to repair your iPhone, you need to wait for a little while. Please be patient and do not disconnect your iPhone during the process. Then it is done. 
you can see, your iPhone is back to the normal state again. I can access it without any problem, and all my data is still there. It's very easy. Last thing is really not a fix that we could do. Get a new iPhone. If you are using a very old one, your iPhone processor may not keep up with the current iOS system or the latest app requirements. Even if the old iPhone still works, it may not be as fast. Okay, here is today's tutorial. Hope you like it. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you succeed in one of the methods. Stay tuned for our next videos.